Hi, this is our first video that I'm making just for testing. Okay, so let's just look at the basics. As I said before, we've got an area up the top for the header, an area for navigation, body area and footer. Very similar to what you'd be doing for your first assignment. So I'm going to set up the containers now in, we in my website that I can put this information into. I'm going to set up the framework in which the contents will fit. So I know that this is 1366 by 768. So I go to Dreamweaver and I'm just going to start create a new page. Just basic HTML page. And I've got it in split view now to give you an idea of the code. You can see there's introductory line. Uh, it's got no title. I could call it a dog walking. And the body area. And I'm going to click my cursor into the body area here because the body is where the website goes. So with that flashing in the body area, I come up to the insert panel and I'm just going to insert basic div and it's going to go at the insertion point and I'm going to have to give it some design parameters so I'm going to actually create a new ID for it it's nothing written there and I'm just going to call it the wrapper because the whole website is going to go inside this wrapper and it is a new style rule so it tells me the name of the rule in the next panel and I actually want this to be put inside its own style sheet. So I choose new style sheet. And you need to follow each of these steps. They're quite simple, but you need to follow them each in its turn. And I'll press OK. And I'm prompted to put it inside my website. Remember, I have my website set up properly. So each time I'm being prompted to save something, it's going to save it in the root folder of that website. So I'm going to call it test three, just for a set that sake. And I click save. And it says, well, it's a relative thing until you save the document, the web page, in other words. So I'll say yes. And it's asking me for some definitions about it. Now I'm able to put a lot of definition into this, but I don't have to. And all I'm really concerned about is the size of this box. And we know from Photoshop that it's 1366 by 768. So that's what I'm going to put in there. 1366 by 768. Important that you make sure you're always talking about pixels. Okay always pixels not centimeters if your machine takes half an hour to load a page or decide what's happening it's probably because you've chosen inches or centimeters and that's required the computer to do a lot more computing time now i'm going to set the margins for this container as being auto and it's the auto setting that makes it go to the center of the page by default. And remember, on your first assignment, that's how you get added value. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to save this page. So I'll go File, Save As, and of course I'm going to call it Index. So I've got my Index page and I've got it to the correct dimensions of that Photoshop file that I did. I've also got a style sheet that's been invented. And while I'm at it, perhaps I'll put it in its own folder. And I'll drag that in. Through me that updates all the links. So I'm set up for the next stage now, which is to be putting in the containers for each of those sections of the web page. I'll first I go save. I can tell by the asterisk when something has not been saved. So that hasn't been saved either. And I'm going to go save all.
so I can close it.